guys! Last week we were looking at the story of Ruth and how she showed incredible friendship and loyalty to her mother-in-law, Naomi. Yeah, so why don't, you, uh, <laughs> why don't you start this week straight away by jumping into today's story, which can be found in Ruth chapters 2 to 4. We're going to finish off the story of Ruth, or you can use an animated video found in the description below. I think Timmy's getting jealous of the fact he's never on camera anymore. He used to be on camera all the time, and now he's not on camera anymore. In Ruth 2, we see that how when they arrive in Bethlehem, they arrive during harvest. So Ruth offers to go and try and find some leftover bits of grain in some fields for her and Naomi to eat. Yeah, as they're arriving in this new land without the support of a family, they would have been pretty desperate as to what they were going to eat next. In Ruth 2, it says that how the field that Ruth ends up going and picking bits of leftover grain from turns out to belong to a man called Boaz, who is a distant relative of Naomi's. Amazing name, Boaz, don't you think? And Boaz notices Ruth and asks who she is and learns that she is the woman who has accompanied her mother-in-law as a stranger into this land. And this prompts Boaz to show her incredible kindness and he says to her, you are welcome to work alongside the other women in my field. And he also says, uh, he also offers her protection, saying that he has told his harvesters not to lay a hand on her. Yeah, Ruth is amazed at what seems to her to be undeserved kindness and bows to show her appreciation and gratitude towards Boaz and his kindness to her, asking him, why would you show this kindness towards me, a stranger in your land? replies saying that he has heard all about Ruth and the great kindness and love that she showed towards Naomi, how she left everything that she had known, her family, her people and went to a land that was unfamiliar. He says, may the Lord repay you for what you have done and may you be richly rewarded by the Lord under whose wing you have come to take refuge. What Ruth chose to do for Naomi has been wildly spoken about because that kind of selfless and sacrificial love has really stood out. Yeah, and the world around us today is actually not all that different. It's not all that dissimilar from the world that we read about in these stories. Yes, things have changed and there have been many technological and medical advances. And we now have things like phones and cars and electricity that people in the Bible times would not have had. But human nature, what people are like and just who they are has not changed that much over all these years, even in despite of all of the advancements and improvements that we have had. In fact, when we love our friends in the same selfless and loyal way, like Ruth, where we maybe sometimes choose to do something for no personal benefit of our own, but just because we want to show them how much we love them and that we are with them, it stands out. You think about school, and think about break and lunch times and the amount of falling outs that can happen there. Maybe friends betraying other friends, maybe <laughs> acting like one thing to the face and being dead nice, but actually behind the back being a completely different person. If you choose to be a really loyal and a faithful friend, that is something that stands out in those contexts. And yet, when we are doing that, it is like spreading the light of Jesus to those around us. When we love our friends like that, we are loving our friends in the same way that Jesus loves us and we are showing what his love is like. Yeah, so why don't you pause here and talk about what you think a modern example of a roof friendship might look like today. Stands out. I wanted to be like... Are we still making the oh. roof joke? We moved on from the roof. You guys have moved on from the roof joke, haven't you? A roof, a roof friendship. It'd be like two roofs that are best buddies, like two hats. Okay, sorry. Boaz actually sees to Ruth's kindness and sees that by doing so, she's actually choosing to take refuge under the wings of the Almighty. From a worldly point of view, her decision would not have offered her any more security. In fact, the far safer and more sensible option for her would have been to return home and be with her people and be with her own family. But actually, by choosing to side with the Lord and take shelter under his wings, she is actually in a far greater secure position. When we choose to follow Jesus' example, when we choose to love our friends with the same love that Jesus has shown towards us, when we are not self-seeking after what we can get, but choose to lay ourselves down for our friends but do, by doing things that sometimes don't mean that we're popular or cool, our hearts are actually so blessed because it pleases us Jesus' heart so much when we love our friends in that way. It pleases us Jesus' heart. I like that little bit of a rhyme there. Ruth and Naomi both end up incredibly blessed by the Lord. And in fact, when they originally left Moab, they left in grief and in sadness. Naomi, as I'm sure you remember, even said, don't call me Naomi anymore. Call me Mara, meaning bitterness, for the Lord has made my life bitter. 
They must have felt pretty empty and worried of what their life would look like, yet God had a plan. He leads them to their relatives' fields and Boaz sees them and shows them great kindness because he sees that the Lord is with them. Ruth ends up marrying Boaz and the women of the town rejoice with Naomi and say, praise the Lord who has not left you to this very day. Yeah, they rejoice that Naomi's family is now restored and she now has a son. Ruth's son is called... Obed. And he becomes the father of Jesse, who becomes the father of David. And this is the family line that Jesus himself ends up descending from. While Ruth shows extraordinary kindness to Naomi, she's part of God's much bigger plan to show the ultimate kindness to us when he modelled the absolute best friendship to us, when he came to earth um, to save us and lay down his life so that we can know him as a close friend. When we choose to show great friendship to those around us, we never know the impact that it will have. So let's choose to show great love to those around us just like Jesus has shown to us and be faithful in love to one another just like Ruth was to Naomi. Not only loving them because we want something from them or because we think they're absolutely awesome and oh, just want to spend time with them. But loving them even when it's hard and actually it might, think that it might mean that we need to lay something down. For example, pride or popularity or time to show them that they really matter, that we really care for them and love them. So guys, we hope you've enjoyed learning about Ruth and we've just got a few questions for you this week. How do you think Naomi felt at the end of this story? How has God been with Ruth and Naomi? And what might it mean for your life today to find refuge under the shelter of the Lord's wing? And we also want to leave you with a challenge. We've already mentioned how Ruth ends up in the family line of Jesus. We want to see if you can spot any more similarities in this story to when Jesus came to earth. Very nice. I, I didn't forget the name of the son at all. I just thought I'd test Sarah on it. That was my challenge to her. Oh, yeah. But yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we zoom, zoom, zoom off the set. What with our wings? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Wings! <laughs>